Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for December for Cancer. So if your sun sign is in Cancer or your rising sign is Cancer, then this is for you. Many of you will be having children or find out that you're pregnant. And um, hopefully you're excited about that. Um, and if not, um, if you decide to move along with that process, then hopefully that will shift. I think being a mom is the best thing ever, so um, maybe you'll warm up to it. Um, it's possible for many people that having a, children, having a child or pregnancy will not be part of this um, solar eclipse energy that has been happening and is continuing through December. For you, you may have a new creative project. Um, it's possible that you've been working on, through Mercury Retrograde in November, you've been wrapping up old projects. And now, a new project will come in because the energy is clear. Um, so if you are wrapping up old projects, then I highly recommend you wait to launch those, if you're going to launch them, um, until December. I like December 13th for launching new things. It's the new moon after Mercury has been in retrograde, and it carries a lot of power for launching projects that you've been working on for that time. So um, if you haven't heard yet about um, a new possible project coming to you, then you still have all of December where that could come in. Because information still comes in from eclipses after the eclipse. And um, so even though the eclipse, ha eclipse happens on November 13th, then you um, there's about six weeks after while um, that a lot of news could still come in. You've got the sun lighting up your sixth house of discipline, um, yoga, daily routine. If you are self-employed, the sun being in that place can bring you more self-employed work, um, which is really cool. And Or it could come in a different way. It could come in in the way that you've got a lot of energy towards a new routine. So like a yoga, yoga routine or a meditation routine. The sixth house is also the house of pets, so it's possible that you might decide you want a new pet. If that is happening for you, then I highly recommend, again, waiting until into December when the Mercury energies are clear, unless you are fostering a pet, um, because then that's a temporary situation and Mercury retrograde lends itself to, to those type of things. So... I think I talked a little bit about Jupiter being in your 12th house last time uh, um, for the November house, so I don't remember, but I'm going to mention it again because it's a really juicy placement. If you're working on developing your intuitive capacities at all, having Jupiter in your 12th house can make you super psychic. Um, some people have Jupiter in their 12th house natally, so they have this expansion in the cosmic soup area um, all the time. But for you, uh, I can't see your natal chart, but for cancer energies, it's it's transiting, and it's about six months through a year um, transit. So, if you've been wanting to work with your dreams, if you've been wanting to clear out unconscious factors that are inhibiting your experience, it's a really great time to do that kind of work. Past life regressions are really great during that time. Um, anything with the subconscious and dream time work is really, you've got about five more months of that place of being there. Mars is moving through your seventh house of partnerships. Now, that's, it's also one-on-one -on -one relationships, so it could be friendships, work with clients, um, business partnership, romantic partnership. So it could be that you um, are already in a romantic relationship and you are spending more energy focusing on it. Um, the same energy that brings action or activity or focus can also bring argumentative energy. So when... So it happens sometimes that when Mars is going through the seventh house that you could be arguing more with your partner. This was started a little bit over probably all of November, and it will continue for most of December. So if that's the case, then use that energy for something else, because it's an increase in energy that can be used for something. You could be using it for arguing. That's not the best way to use it. <laughs> so... If you personally can do what you need to clear your energy field so you're not as reactive and you can respond instead of react, you could help to direct that energy. Um, of course, you can also direct that energy into sex because it's rules the same thing. <laughs> that might be more productive than arguing. 
Um, there are so many things that I can look at in a chart. Um, YouTube tells me it's great to keep um, videos to about five minutes. So, um, because that's what the attention span is for these kind of things. <laughs> so, I, um, I'm trying to do that. And, but I would love to go more into your personal chart. I highly recommend an individual reading with me. If you go to the link below this um, video, you can see my website with many, many, many client testimonials. You can see more about my philosophy on astrology and what happens in a session. And you can also sign up for the Storyteller newsletter which will give you great information every month um, learning about astrology and um, will give you a $15 off coupon for a session with me. So I hope you have a great December and happy holidays.